Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to collect the data. Uh, so you either want to collect uh, movement of water or you want to collect movement of sugar. So I'm going to go through how to do both. Movement of water is pretty straightforward. You want to use a balance to do that. So if you are tracking um, if water moved in or out of a cell, it's essentially just gathering the um, ending mass uh, that goes along with hopefully what you already measured, which was the beginning mass. So to do that, if your balance isn't on, just make sure you hit the on button, wait for the screen to zero out. So it says 0.0, .0 grams. And then you take your, you would take your dialysis cell, your dialysis tubing cell out of whatever solution, make sure you're keeping track of what's what, and you just put it on the balance and measure it. So that tells me 9.8. So I would record 9.8 grams as my ending mass, then look to see is there a difference, how much of a difference, did the difference change between the different energy drinks, start to analyze your results there. So that's all you really need to do um, to track water. To track the movement of sugar, we're going to do something and use what's called Benedict solution. So with Benedict solution, how it works is it essentially changes color in the presence of simple sugars. So we're tracking the movement of glucose. We're not necessarily tracking the movement of sucrose. So Benedict solution looks like this. It's blue. Um, and so if we look, when you apply heat to Benedict solution, it's going to change color if there's glucose present. So this chart kind of shows you that color key. So if it stays blue, that tells us no glucose is present. If it turns green, there's a little bit. If it turns kind of yellow or orange, there's a little bit more. And if it turns red, that means there's a lot of sugar. So we can still get an idea of relative amount, but not necessarily like numbers. So to do this, what we need to do is we have our dialysis tubing cells, and we need to transfer what's in the cell into a test tube. So to do that, what we want to do is take your cell that you created, and you'll also need um, a pair of scissors. So you want to, as carefully as you can, cut right below the knot. Try to let as little of the kind of solution out, and then you want to pour that into your test tube. And be careful so that you don't spill it outside the test tube because you can't necessarily try it again. So I've transferred the solution. My next step is I want to drop in 10 drops of Benedict solution. So if I have Benedict, I would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So you can see my solution has turned a little bit faint blue just from the Benedicts. So I would want to do that for each cell that I want to uh, test for the movement of sugar. Uh, again, keeping track, make sure you're keeping track of, of what's what. And cut right below right below the knot, and then transfer the solution into another test tube. Okay, so I've got my solution in there. Add 10 more drops of Benedict's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You don't have to be super precise, but 10 is what you're aiming for. Uh, from there, we want to apply heat. And so there is a beaker set up on a hot plate, and be careful. Uh, so you don't burn yourself, but we want to take both test tubes and just drop them right into the hot water. And this will take a few minutes, so you have to wait about five minutes um, to then start to see the results. Okay, so it's been about five minutes, and if we look, we have we do have a color change. So if we look at this first test tube, we can see that it hasn't really changed color. It's still kind of that faint blue color, so that tells us that there's no glucose present. However, if we look at the other one, we see that it definitely did change color. It's that yellowish orange. So looking at our chart over here, it would fall in that kind of um, medium, I guess, amount of, of glucose present. So this would say if I had filled the cell with just water, put it in the energy drink, and then when I tested the solution inside the cell, and this is the color it turned, that would tell me that sugar moved um, into the cell. So that's the general procedure you want to follow for Benedict's. Just again, be careful with the hot plate, uh, take your time, do things well. Uh, for cleanup, you just want to dump the test tubes out in the sink, rinse them out, and then there are test tube trays, you want to turn those upside down so that they can dry. So make sure you're cleaning up all your materials, washing, drying, uh, so it's good to go for the next class.